good morning students welcome to mobile application development lab so this is um, what uh, login activity implementation part i'm going to show today so now enter to the login.java file and before that we need to know what are the user ids we have make use of for the uh, designing part of the login activity so this is what for the username i have given login underscore username as a id and for the password login underscore password then for the button btn underscore login so this is a requirement for us before coding to the login.java file so now enter to the login class and since the login underscore username it is of the type edit text so edit the text and i'm going to give a java reference variable or java variable for the login username i'm going to give it as login username only along with that we have for the password so i'm going to give it as login password along with that we have button right so login button so button btn login so this is what the button i have then enter into the on create method so we need to provide the connection right so between the uh, login that is a front end and the back end so your front end is our user interface design so that is what uh, we have done in the login activity uh, in the xml code right so that is what here we are going to take so login username that is equal to and it is of the type edit text find you by id i think you all are familiar with this r dot id dot what i have given login underscore username so similar way login password that is equal to it is also of the type edit text find view by id r dot id of login password yes and we have one more button also right so button i have given it as button login and it is of the type button so button find view by id of r dot id dot btn login right so on click of this button it needs to give us whether it is a um, login successful or not right so that's why on click of this button what it needs to perform so that is what we are going to give in the button login set on click listener of what on this so this represents to this particular instance of a class okay and obviously it is going to give us with the error so just sorry right now since uh, yes select this one not cast parameter select this make login implement android this one is a better along with that we are going to get with the on click method so give this now uh, before this one what we need to do we need to uh, extract or we need we have received a bundle from the main activity that is from the sign up activity and we need to receive that right so just give bundle that is the object sorry that is the class and we are going to create the object of the class bundle bundle that is equal to we need to receive we are not going to create any object right we have created in the main activity that is in the sign up activity so through what we have received through intent so get that intent here so get intent dot get bundle extra so that means that we are going to receive the courier is a intent here and we are we are going to receive the uh, 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 content or the data what we have wrapped here in the main activity dot java and we have given the name also for that wrapped content that is data so here we are going to retrieve that so get bundle extra it is a method and we are retrieving that data what we have 
react there in the sign up activity and that is that should contain or that is having username and the password and i am defining that in the variable user that is equal to bundle dot i want to extract that so i am going to get that there we uh, we may uh, there we make use of this put string method so to put in a bundle so here we since we are retrieving that we are going to make use of this get string method so if we know the key then we can easily extract that right so whatever the key we have given capital u start with user right so so just give user and same thing for the password also so just i'm going to give variable that is pass so whatever i have received from there i'm going to assign to the user and pass okay so bundle dot get string i have given here i have given there as pwd that is for the password and i need to define these variables also so come back to the login class and here give since it is of the string type give string user comma pass so done here okay so now come to the on click method on click of login button what it needs to perform the action so that is going to be specified in the on click method and it needs to match right whether the username and password what i have given in the sign up activity whether that is similar to the username and password what i have what i have entered in the login activity so it should match so string here whatever the username and password i'm going to enter i'm going to specify in the variable name user1 that is equal to that i have entered in the login username so if you specify if, if you just look at here this is the variable name for the uh, username and the password i have given in the java file so login username dot get text same thing what i have done before also so th same thing you are going to make use and that should be converted to the string format so to string similar way for the password also string pass one that is equal to login password dot get text that should be converted to string format so to string method right so your username and password you have entered in the login activity page also now i need to check whether both are same so if what you have entered there user dot equals of user one so look at uh, carefully here see this user specifies the username what you have entered in the login activity and that we have received here right so we have extracted and we have put in the user variable so that is what i have specified here so user dot equals so if that is equal to the user one uh, whatever the username i have entered in the login uh, activity that is specified in the user one variable so that is equal to and even the password of those two is equal so pass dot equals of what equals of pass one right so equals of pass one then what it needs to perform it needs to display login successful so same thing toast message so toast dot make text in this context it needs to display login successful so login successful and that should display for certain period of time so toast dot length long and it should display so give show method okay so here it should not include this dot or the dot needs to be there somewhere i have missed out with the brackets i think 
yes one more extra bracket came here dot one minute close dot make okay close comma login successful and here i should not close the bracket so that is what it was showing the error yes so this is the message it needs to display right so if login fails here if you look at this here it is clearly specified that on successful login it needs to display the message that is login successful or successful login or else it needs to display a toast message saying that login failed and the user is given only two attempts and after that it needs to display uh, failed login attempt one failed login attempt two so after two attempts failed two attempts it needs to disable the sign in button so that is what here we are going to specify else else it needs to count its attempts so count plus plus if the value of the count if the value of the count that is equal to 3 that is equal to 3 so just the button login what I have that is going to be enabled to false so set enabled I'm going to make it as a false that means it needs to disable so that's why I have given it as a false and it needs to display message that toast so instead of typing again I'm just going to make use of this statement copy and paste so be careful you need to change the text so instead of login successful what it needs to display failed login attempts okay and it needs to display how many times also right so that is going to be taken in the next part so toes dot make text so this failed login attempts and toes dot length long yes it is fine else it is going to give us the toast message along with the number of attempts so login failed for how many number of times that needs to be displayed so after this double quote give plus count so this is going to give us with how many times we have given the wrong attempt or the wrong password or username so since it is in the red color i have not it uh, declared the variable count so i'm going to specify here okay i'm going to initialize that int count is equal to zero so yes it is fine so here it is giving us with error why because just give space along with a one more bracket for the pass so if you look at here in the right hand side it is going to give us with whatever the uh, errors we have done so that is going to be display here obviously you are going to get so but you need to check that what is that okay so check here yes in the line number 34 statement expected it is showing so this is what the line number 34 sorry instead of closing here for the if loop right uh, sorry for the if statement not a loop sorry now for the if statement see this is what i supposed to give and this bracket it is for this one and instead of open of this bracket i need to close here yes so this is going to give us properly yes so shall we execute and see whether we are getting with the proper output just going to run this up so before that i'm going to stop the tab since it was having with the previous output so i'm going to stop and i'm going to run that just give run launch 
and succeeded and our emulator is here and I'm going to switch on this so sign up activity I'm going to give the username as sign up and the password the capital S and if you look at here it is coming very short so in the design you can make a change so I'm going to stop and I will just show and since it is of little bit lesser one I think it is not giving in a proper way so that's why I'm increasing the size of this okay so let it be better now so ray run yes it is going to launch the activity is giving us with the waiting symbol so that's why I was waiting I'm going to give the username as sign up and the password as capital yes sign at one two three four so just click sign up here it is a valid password so same thing here also you're going to give so sign up and capital yes at one two three four that is what the password i have given so sign at one two three four so login login successful and i'm going to delete one or two and i'm going to give login see login failed one and again i press login login failed two and now after two attempts what it needs to show it needs to display or it needs to disable this login button only so again i'm going to press the login see here it is going to display as with the message failed login attempts and the login button has got disabled so this is what the implementation of the sign up activity along with the login activity hope you all understood if you have any queries you can put in the comment section or you can personally personally mail us the mail id is given below in the com uh, in the description uh, subscribe to our channel to get more videos on the mobile application development lab Thank you all.